The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everybody. This is Jack, and thanks for joining this training. I'm really excited about presenting something what you really should know as internet marketer. Because I always say you don't have a business if you don't have a website, correct? Do you agree? So it also counts for a business. They ha don't have a business if they don't have a nice website, correct? So, and the stupid thing, even in 2020 is, many businesses don't have a website. So, what are you going to learn today? You're going to learn 10 important elements on a website going to find I, I'm going to show you an example of a reasonable website and then I going to show you where to find those businesses who really need your help so this is kind of an all-in-one training and I pretty sure we're going to like the content but you're going to learn in about an hour okay so are you excited for this training too okay good so my name is jack hopman my core business is actually atlas management i serve many local business and and they all need a website i do i do uh, google atlas management correct hi paul hi glenn so 57 years old i i, I have much no more than 74 clients but i do this for life. I do this for living, I mean. For living, I do this. So, let's start with the 10 overlooked website missing that may harm your business, correct? Because you did all that work to drive that prospect, that lead, that contact, that relationship to your website or to the client website, and now they are missing crucial elements and it's not that that those elements hard to add or hard to fix but as internet marketer you need to be aware of those important issues and also you need to fix it either for yourself or for a client and if, hopefully for a client because then you get paid correct so, the bit, not the biggest mystic, mystic number one. I still see that businesses still spend a lot of business cards, okay? And even more than a web hosting. That makes no sense, okay? So, how many clients, how many leads, how many businesses do they get for business cards nowadays? And how many clients, how many leads do they get from the website? So the mindset needs to shift from paper to digital. And kind of that is, I want to say your task, but that is your, uh, your driving, your motivation, your thing, things you can bring up to help a local business okay missing number two M mistake number two i see very often very long domain names domain names which your heart can remember with has dashes but don't look professional they kind of are seo links now seo links with three search term works but you don't want to use that for a business website, correct? For a business website, you want to put some effort into nice, catchy domain name. So when people visit them, they can still remember it. Okay? And that takes some effort. And I always like to order .com domains. .com. And this kind of points back to number one about spending more on business card and hosting. So your your website 
or your client web, you don't want to build on cheap posing. So what if you guys were in, in a situation that they had a client and your website was not showing? Okay, there was a problem with the website because the server has had <coughs> an issue. And you contacted the host and they say, okay, we can fix it, but it's, it's not a host issue, it's a website issue. Okay, I, I don't care, okay? I don't have that technical knowledge. Just fix it. Yeah, but that is outside our due list, okay? And then they limit to your IP address and you're kind of cl close for the whole world, for your city, for, for your state, for your whole country. So be careful. You only, not only, but you will figure out when the website is down because of server issue, how important that website is for you and for your client, for SEO, for AdWords, for all the lead generation you're doing. Because if that website is not shown, Google will penalize you, the phone will not ring, the client get upset, and the client will cancel you did all that work for years and your website and the website is broken and not showing anymore and then he will cancel. He gets so frustrated. It took you so many days, months and years to build up that reputation and it got banned, it got destroyed by a third party and you... Uh, You get, uh, um, do you say that? You get penalized of that. You don't want that. Can a redirect backup website help? Yes. So, what you can do is create a, a website and make a backup, and you can release that to another host but that then it has to propagate and so so francis i know that this all possible many of you guys don't have that knowledge and the host company many host companies don't will help you with that so that so it's much easier to select a good host company to go with okay mistake mistake number four using in in personal business email address like info ad admin ad contact ad so use uh francis ad glenn ad paul ad glenn ad so there are a couple of reasons that reasons for that one is it is personalized it feel more confident to send an email you kind of create a face behind the email also the email will much more likely to land in the inbox because uh, Yahoo and Gmail, they don't like info ad, admin ad, contact ad. They all go to spam. Hmm? Okay. So it's kind of a, a very important thing. I think I covered it last week. You need to know how many calls you generate for the client, how many calls you get. There are a couple of things why you want to do that. If you do AdWords, you want to track results, how many leads, how many calls you generated. If there's any discussion about what works or doesn't work, you want to have some proof of that. Also, it's crazy, but it's true, many local businesses are busy. Now that's good, that's, on itself it's good. But they are so busy that they don't have time to answer the calls. Yeah, they can't. Uh, they want they want more leads, but they don't want to put that effort in it to get that lead into the door. Now there are a couple of things what can help. The easiest the easiest way is just if the client doesn't answer the phone, it send a text message. Now the client can call back to that prospect, to that lead, when he's off the roof, when he's safe to call back, okay? Or 
you can redirect that call to a second person or to multiple persons. So you, you don't want to lose that lead. Now, I can understand that that not, not everybody likes calls, but you, if you are lead generation, you need calls to get more leads, to get more business. Huh? So it's important. Now, this is even more true than the past years. It's getting more and more important that the websites are loading fast, and especially on mobile, that the, mo that the website is mobile responsive. Now, if you make the calculation about, I have to see, I, I, there's a statistics about that, but about 60% now, about 45, 45%, still don't have a website. It's crazy. Now, for the one who has a website, it is getting outdated. They are not going, they're not going to spend money as they should to update the website that it shows on all browsers correctly, that it loads fast, and it shows very nice on mobile. Okay? They need your help. Makes sense. You need a mobile responsive website. The clients need a, a mobile website. And you are not in business if you don't have a website. And you, uh, you don't have a good business if you don't have a good mobile responsive website. So you want to put effort in it. Okay, now you need a nice call to action. It's kind of asking for the sale. Okay, asking for an action. Okay, they land on your website. It needs to be catchy. It needs to be nice for the eye. And it needs to be clear. It's kind of the, the Apple style. Okay, the Apple style is a lot of white, a couple of words, but very catchy. And they click on links up to the point that they find the information. So you want to have a website that is easy to navigate, nice looking, knows what the visitor is looking for, easy for the visitor to get there, and make some videos. Okay, now I think that is you all of you guys know this kind of correct. You need the browsers will show if your that your website is not secure if it shows http correct i think all you guys know that so if that website is important if that website generates money you want to show to the visitor this website is safe and you want to install an ssl on it okay so those are very logical things what i'm just mentioning correct but does your website do uh, includes all those things? Cover those things? Huh? Have you talked about that? Do you have a checklist? Are those ten points done? Hmm? So many local businesses they start a business. They kind of know that they need a website. They create a website, but it, they, they need help. They need really your help to get it up to date. Things change over time, okay? How, how many years was it that you, got your, that you got your mobile phone? 10 years? Enter yes if it's more than 10 years. Yes, and enter no if it's less than 10 years. Can you imagine what has changed the past 10 years of the world, correct? Incredible. More than 50% of all the people use the mobile phone more to look at websites than the desktop. It's crazy. The whole world is changing 10 years. And 10 years from now, the world is again changed, okay? We will drive 
in, we will be able to drive in cars with drive by itself, okay? We will have all those intelligence computer, okay? Things change over time. Amazon changed the world. Uh, Tesla changed the world, okay? Everything changed. Now, with that, kind of, we are, as internet marketer, in good position, correct? We can help the pro solve the problem from those local businesses who need a nice looking website who is mobile responsive and has the important elements. Okay, so this happens to me. Um, so I, I was hosting before the big gateway. I was hosting at, I don't want to mention bad, okay, it can happen, I think, but every host was hosting at HostGator. Now, because I became successful and my clients became successful, they decided, hey, you got too much traffic. Something is weird going on, okay? We're going to throttle the speed. We're going to throttle speed because your website takes too much resources. I said, that's bullshit. I want more leads. I want more business. Yeah, but it's not where you're paying for. Yeah, that's correct. I couldn't argue that. There was only a couple of dollars. I couldn't argue about that. But I said, that's not what I want, okay? My clients, they pay me good money. So I don't want to throttle my speed, okay? I want full speed. Okay, so that happened to me. Now, this is not to brag, okay? I'm going to show my website as an example about those 10 points, and then I will show you how to find business to create those websites, okay? So, I updated my website, probably have seen that, uh, about a month ago, I'm not exactly, it has taken me some while because it has some nice artwork in it. But I want to show you some elements on it where I really talked about it, okay? So there's not a website that I created overnight, okay? And it's also not built on WordPress, okay? Because WordPress has a lot of easy things but it is not fast loading, correct? So I wanted to have something fast loading. I want to have the next generation too. So, you have to come up with a nice catchy uh, slogan, okay, that people trust. It's also, how do you show trust that they like you, okay? So, came up with a logo and then, I kind of have all those call to action, correct? Family place, sales, my W gateway business. So it's easy for somebody who lands on the website to find what they need. I rarely have now somebody send us a party, Jack, uh, which products do you care? Now I said, okay, the products are listed on the product steps, correct? So those links are kind of answer people's question, okay? So now you show all those products, the main products you have. Now, it also has a webinar video, okay? Why do I post the webinar video on my website and not on, I, I, why I don't send it to somebody else? I do this by a purpose because Google rewards you when you stay, when the visitors stay in your website and the, web, and the webinars takes about an hour. So many, many watch the webinars for an hour on my website and Google said, wow, that must be a very interesting website, correct? Okay, so slogan, video, call to action. You see this? So it's the same structure, okay? And here, the form, testimonials also do good, and the form. Does that make sense? Does everybody understand the structure of a good website? If you would see a website, would you be able 
to tell what's good and what's not good? Is that something you could do? Like the 10 points we discussed, does it have a call to action? Does it have a form? Is it nice for the eye? Do you, do you feel you can do this? Huh? I could make a checklist. But without checklist, are you able to do it? Are you able to judge the website? Is it looks looks good on mobile? You just put your URL on your mobile phone, correct? It's easy. You just take some screenshots and most time you find issues. Huh? So I just so I'm going to show you now the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail where you have a huge opportunity, a huge opportunity to uh, did this HTML page, HTML. Okay, so what I wanted to say, I, I'm going to show you where to find those hot clients, huh? where to, where to, uh, where to find those clients who need your help. So I did a quick search, okay? There are a lot of ways, okay? So basically, you go to Google. Okay, the, this is the manual way. I have to think a little bit on it. So do fans repair, okay? Then I go to the map. Okay, let me go to the maps. And Google will show if they have a website or not, okay? You see? You see? I didn't prepare this, okay? I did not prepare it. You see, those don't have a website. They all need your help. You see this? Only one has a website. Oh, my God. I didn't prepare this, okay? But you see, it's not too hard to find businesses who need a website. And even if they have a website, this is a question if it is responsive or not. You see, only with fans repair. One keyword, I didn't prepare this. I swear I didn't prepare this. You see how easy it is to find business who don't have a website? It's ridiculous. You don't, you didn't expect it. I'm sure you didn't expect it. But it's the reality. Now, what you want to do is, but what you want to go after is a low hanging fruit. You want to go after businesses who spend serious money on marketing and still don't have a website. They have the budget, they know online it's working kind of thing, but never took the time and they didn't met you to create a nice looking website. And I'm going to show you now what that source is. So I locked in Lead find your cloud. You can do also do this manual, okay? But I kind of already did this manually. I'm not going to work days to show uh, 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 my thing. So you see, Florida, 57 cents home advisor, HC home advisor, okay? Found 74.95. How many percentage do you think have a website? Seven thousand four hundred ninety-five. Seven thousand four hundred ninety-five. This home business advertised on Home Advisor. How many do you think have a website? Ah, twenty-five percent is probably low. Okay, that's probably low. Thirty-five. Okay, fifty. Okay. So if let's say it is 50, let us show. I don't know. I, we will do the math, okay? In a second, we will do the math. If it is 50, okay? If it is 50, do you know what that means? At average, you contact two businesses and one don't have a website. You have 50% chance to speak with a hot lead. Incredible, correct? 50% Chance to speak with a hot lead. They 
have money, they spend money, okay, and they need your help, okay. So when you go to campaigns and I click on website, okay, and there are now 96 pages have a website, and if I click yes, how many pages are left? 61. 61 have a website, okay? Any? 96. So 69, 61. I wonder if I can see an exact number, but let's say yes. So 69 over, I, I, I need to do the math. Okay, 69, 61. Okay, I need to do the math. It's so 61 pages have, and each page has about 10 pages or so, have a website from how many pages? Any? 96. So that, that is about two thirds, correct? 96 pages down uh, or from all business. So that means about two of the three have a website, correct? Now, that means one of the three don't have a website. Do you agree? Do we agree with this, Matt? One of the three don't have a website. You make at average three calls, every, every, at average three contacts, and you hit a hot lead. And probably from those two who, don't, who do have a website, they have an outdated website and they still need help. They are not mobile responsive. There are not too many websites where good mobile responsive. You guys see the opportunity? Would it not be nice that you could easily create nice looking, fast loading, beautiful, mo mobile responsive websites in kind of under five minutes? And then you sell them for $500, for $1,000, and offer them hosting for $100 a month and update. Would that not be the foot in the door thing to get you off the ground with an easy to provide service? Who like that? Who likes to have a success call, one of the three who want your service with a nice website mobile responsive and it takes almost no time to create you just ask what is your contact information what is your address and is this domain okay and i will create it for you okay when do you need it as soon as possible what's your credit card that is how the conversation will go nothing else Okay. Now, Ali knows we are working on a solution for this. Actually, jackhopman.com is created on this. Okay. All my new websites are created on a nice new builder. And that new builder gets released on Thursday. You cannot buy now. I'm not giving you the link, okay? But you will get a link in your email on Thursday. And this will be for the coming weeks the training, your way to make money, how to speak, okay? And I promise you that it's very easy. I promise you, okay? It's, you haven't seen such thing, okay? You haven't seen such thing. 
and that's actually what I wanted to give you tonight. So I want you to understand, I wanted you to understand that a website is important. I wanted you to understand what important elements are on a website. I want you to be able to look at a website if this has those elements. I want you to understand that home advisor, but many business, you can just Google it, just Google it, who don't have a website. So that, that's the, that is kind of the holy grail. That is, uh, you, that is they, they are waiting on you. But even if they have a website, it's likely it's outdated. Okay? It's likely not mobile responsive. It's likely not that great looking. Okay? And they need your help. Okay? They need your help. And you want you want to be able to offer that help, correct? You want to be able to create websites, but just fill in the blanks template with a phone number, with a business address, with a with with an email. Okay, you just want to change some information. Select even select the color. Let's say I like blue, I like yellow, I like purple okay you just select that uh that color and the website get updated is that not amazing okay so if i don't know i'm just using now lead financial cloud to uh prove the case that uh that uh what, what, what i don't say that I, I did not prepare this, okay? You, I, if you can see in the multi, I, just before the FC, just before the webinar, this training, I I, I entered the search, okay? I entered the search, so I, I I could show you the results, okay? But I know home advisor businesses, many of them, they don't have a web. They didn't take the effort, the time, and they don't have the knowledge to create a website they are looking for you okay so you need to come up with that offer okay make sense so with that um be prepared because the email I'm going to send out on Thursday will be the best deal you ever will get. So if you want for the lock in the best price and want to learn more about the new builder, then uh, it's not WordPress based, it's HTML based, it's fast loading, mobile responsive. All my websites are built now with this. Okay. Uh, we worked about four years on it. It's amazing. I will do every week about training you 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 will get you will get an expert in creating a website on the easy way okay so it will be besides team jack okay some of you guys like wordpress some like html so everything uh, will be kind of duplicate so they will still we will support both but i want you to be open minded to look into it okay I'm sure you will like it. So, with that said, um, I really thank you for your time, and I'm going to work now to be able that you get an email on Thursday. And thank you for that, and I'm looking forward for you to the next training. And please. Make sure you see the email on Thursday because that will be the, the best deal. Thank you so much.